Alright, so I accidentally just walked out of the gym without recording, but it triggered a cutscene, and I haven't clicked anything yet. So, Opal comes out, she's like, maybe hold up, maybe she wants to offer me the job. What's going on, old lady? She's gonna slowly make her way to us. Got a few errands to run in Hammerlock, care to join me for the journey. If you're headed to the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Uh, with pleasure. So we're just gonna go with her, I guess this is gonna save a little bit of time. They say two's company, after all. Alright, so... I guess we're just going to sh sh share a flight over with this lady. And uh, here we are. Back in Hammerlock. Always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. <laughs> Super dusty, huh? I didn't really think it was too dusty. But alright, so... That's cool. The game basically just tells us that we need to go this way. So, uh, the team is healed up because after gym battles, it does heal you up. So, uh, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to toss Barney in front. I think that could be useful. Other than that, we do want to train up Copperaja, I guess. But I like how the team is looking so far. Um, it seems seems like it's pretty solid. We got this Corviknight last episode, finally freaking evolved. And uh, I think we're pretty decently leveled. So, I guess we're going to see what there is to do in Hammerlock other than what we've already finished. Do we just go straight to the gym? Are we about to have to battle the Dragon Gym right away? So it starts us way over on the left side. Gonna pass ye old um, clothing shop. Also, hold up. We could go into the Pokemon Center. One thing I do want to check out here is do we have access to buy Ultra Balls yet? Please tell me I can buy Ultra Balls. So now we can purchase more items. Let's see what we can get. Yes, we can get Ultra Balls. Finally. That is amazing. So we're gonna stock up on a bunch of these just because I'm sure we'll need them at some point. Got to get 40 of them for a bunch of money. And we broke boys now, but we're fine. So, let's just head over this way. I did see our favorite person in the damn game. <laughs> Young grandma looking ass. We got BD just staring down the hallway. What, what are you doing, buddy? Or bead. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away. And my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Uh, honestly, not really, bro. If you could just move out of the way, that'd be great. I commend your humility. It is appropriate for a trainer of your limited talents. This guy's a this guy's a dick, man. <laughs> As you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask to let me ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. No, bro, you're banished. It ain't happening. Also, I don't know how we passed you, lady, but somehow we did. We didn't see her on the way. Maybe we did. I don't know. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Okay. Time for my gym mission, child. Ooh. Okay. That was scary as hell. I don't blame... Oh my god! <laughs> Just comes charging at him. Pink! <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Uh, hello? That is about the creepiest thing I have ever seen. Please don't touch him. <laughs> um, this is gonna be who she chooses to take over her gym, huh? Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Elena, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. Might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... Are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. And they fall in love and live happily ever after. Very well now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. Take, uh, I take it you know how to get to Route 7. So I assume now we go to the right from the city, I think. We're headed to Route 7. So we did take a look at the map uh, at some point when we were in this city. And when, that was when we decided to go left. But now we're going to go to Route 7, which looks rather interesting. We got 8 that way. And then also it's just kind of kind of loop around. So we're going to hit Sir Chester, which is looking nice and snowy. So that's kind of fun. Then back down Route 9, and then we're going to go that way. So... We have got our work cut out for us. Let's just head this way. Luckily, we got our beanie and our jacket on. I mean, we're going to head through a desert first, but I guess it looks like we're going to go to somewhere cold. Also, I don't think I ever even went this way the first time. Hold up. Homegirl's chilling over here, too. What's up? Hey, uh, the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in Stoan side, the sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions, but I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in <laughs> and more explosions. This is not never a good sign. Are you kidding me? What was that? 
What got blown up now? What the hell? The city is under attack. Hammerlock Stadium shook. Ah, might just be an epic battle. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Hmm. Curious. Huh? A power spot. You mean like where you can Dynamax? We'll say that. That's right. The power spot detectors react when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey, Sonya and Hayden too. You felt the shaking, right? Shit is going down. These last couple episodes. The story's really progressing. Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. Do they just Dynamax without even anybody making them do it? Really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should lead the invest leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. To the adults? I'm capable, Sonia. Well, they're just going to head on out, so... Oh, there's Hop. Just comes strolling by. Oh, Hayden. What's up, buddy? Kind of hate to see you around. Not the most annoying rival, as a lot of people are saying, but also not my favorite. I, I have not gone up this way. What the hell's going on over here? Why did I miss this? First time I explored the city, I definitely just never went to the right. Got ourselves a strawberry sweet. Something about milk cream? Heard that Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things in their dens. They're apparently even odd Pokemon that collect TRs. Heard that Pokemon... Yeah, yep, yep, that was... That was the thing I clicked on. Okay, well... What is going on over here? Uh, hello there, you look like someone I might trust. You see, someone I fancy, and I, I've written him a love letter. Do you think he might deliver it for me? Uh, sure. <laughs> My name is Paula. Here you are, the letter I want you to deliver. Well, uh, cool, we got an old letter. I don't know who I'm supposed to deliver that to. Maybe we'll get around to it. Deliver it to Frank for me, won't you? Frank in Ballinlay. That's who you want. Oh, okay, well, I guess we could do that, but... Kind of out of the way, lady. Also, you're a child. We got a pair of wise glasses. Uh, hold item, thick pair of glasses, slightly boost the power of special moves, so... Pretty decent hold item there. Also, we can't go in anywhere here. There is a hidden item over this way, which is a rare candy, so that's actually kind of nice. We're kind of saving up my rare candies, just in case. Uh, I do want to grind something up easily. Probably figure I'll save them, just until... We get to the point where we got some high-level stuff going on, but... What's up, Pop? First that forest, then the mad quiz. I've lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. You sure have, buddy. Come with me to Route 7. Could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Alright. So we're just going to head to Route 7 with Hop. And, uh... So he came from the, the station. But we are just going to go this way. There's Poke Centers all over this damn place. They, no lack of Poke Centers. There's three of them in that city. So... Route 7 is looking pretty cool. Another big old bridge. And, uh, not seeing any hidden item of the feathers on here, but... Alright, Hayden, you and I both know. We gotta keep on trying different strategies if I'm gonna get strong enough to catch up to Lee. Not if I just catch up, I wanna surpass him. So, uh, we are gonna battle our mate here. He's gonna stretch out the old arm. And another hot battle. I don't know how many times we gotta whoop this dude's ass. Ooh, now he's got a Trevenant. So, it's good to see he's at least, you know, switching up the team a little bit. Um, so Trevenant, we do have Acid for you, I guess. Latest and greatest team. So this thing's level 34. Uh, let's see how much an Acid does. This thing can't really hurt us much, I don't think. Uh, it's not gonna do, not gonna do nearly enough. We really need Toxtricity to freaking learn something new. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the old process here. And just switch right into Nugget. We're kind of at the point where the team is a little bit messed up, where... So we have two really defensive Pokémon with Nugget here, and Corviknight is also, I think, pretty defensive as well. Then we've got two Steel-types with uh, Kaparaja, and then we have freaking Corviknight as well. So I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards switching out Corviknight, but... I don't know, I do want to use, I I do want to use that thing a little, a little bit. <clears throat> we put a lot of time in, 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 in freaking evolving it, so we might as well... See how it goes. We do break through the confusion. Flame charge not quite gonna kill it. Gonna get that uh, that stat boost though. The way you battle, you know, it reminds me of Lee. I shall be the champion. Hop. I'm sorry, buddy. We're gonna have to beat him in the. Oh, he's gonna actually use a hyper potion. So not only did he change up his team, this man's got hyper potion money now. Love to see it, buddy. Snap out of the confusion immediately. That, that's a real bummer for somebody who uses Confuse Ray. Uh, but we fast as hell now. And my coal turtle is going to absolutely destroy your tree. Sorry about that. I'm all about saving the trees. Unless it's a Trevenant. In which case, you can die. Haunted tree, though. Pretty cool concept. I, I really like that thing. Never really used that very much, though. Barney grows to level 35. 
Next is a Boltund. What is that? Oh, it's the freaking Yamper. I don't think we, we've never really seen much of these things. Level 35, we stay in just because we got those speed boosts and rock blast. If we could hit five times, we'll be looking good. Maybe even four with a, with a good hit here. Not quite. All right, so leave it with red. Now it's going to roar us out. Um, I kind of hate that this thing doesn't stay a Corgi. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon and all. It's going to drag us out into Inteleon, so guess what? We're going to Sucker Punch you ass, unless you heal. Please don't heal, thank you. So we do get the Sucker Punch. Probably unnecessary, but it's just kind of satisfying to kill things with Sucker Punch, so that's how we do it. Getting some more experience. Next is a Snorlax. Yo, Hop really just revamping the team. He's trying his best, but unfortunately we just gotta, <clears throat> gotta give you this smoke one more time. Shading is gonna absolutely smack that tummy with our leak here. Oh, accidentally used Iron Defense. That was like my first, ooh. Actually, cool animation for Iron Defense, though. So, hey, we got to see that. That was actually why I did that. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw the animation for Iron Defense that they switched up. Thing is going to absolutely lay on me, and now you're going to pay the price. Actually, not a bad thing we used that Iron Defense, because we took that nicely. Fortunately, oh, no. Fortunately, we do get the defense drop, so that's good. But it stockpiled, so <laughs> now that's good. That's going to just go ahead and uh, cancel that out, which is actually fine. If we can get a crit here, we'll be in good shape. Critical hit, please. Yep. There it is. <laughs> and that's a dead Snorlax. So, cool to see he's using a Snorlax. So that is three down. What does he have? One more Pokemon left. Dumbo wants to learn Strength, which is a decent normal move. But we have Stomp, which does get help from um, sheer force. We're just going to... We're not going to learn Strength. If we ever decide, we need to go back and learn moves. They make it nice and easy for us. Next is the Cinderace. Um, so for Cinderace, I kind of want to let Tootsie... No, Tootsie does not want to do it because now we're Steel-type. False alarm. Well, it looks like this is a job for Dexter yet again. This thing always ends up killing his starter. You would think. You would think he'd learn his lesson, but... Poor guy. About to just... So Cinderace is actually the fully evolved form of Score Bunny. This is actually the first time we're seeing it. I've, I'm kind of not that surprised because I have seen the design for Cinderace a whole bunch. Um, but cool to see this thing for the first time. Cinderace does actually have a pretty sweet design. I honestly, unfortunately, think that Sobble's final evolution design is probably my least favorite of the three. But we, we love him anyway. So, you know, Dexter, you're going to hang around. So, get a bunch of levels. Did not see what he was just about to send in, because I actually thought that was his last Pokemon. We're going to go into Dumbo, because it seems like a safe option, unless it's, you know, a ground or a fire or a fighting type. Gets fired up to win in these situa situations. It's a heat more. All right. Terrible thing to switch into <laughs> was my Kaparaja, but we can just bulldoze it. I'm sure we can just take a hit here. It's going to Fire Lash us, which, is that a new move? Fire Lash? I didn't even realize that Heatmore was in this game. Bro, Hop, you just really getting some cool ass mods. That is gonna drop our defense. And the bulldoze is damn it, it's gonna live it. You got a focus sash or what, buddy? It, he is not. So wow, I should have just stayed in with Dexter, but I did not, and now I paid the price. So let's finish this thing off with Nugget. We could easily just have gone into Inteleon, but Nugget needs some love. Heatmore is such a underlooked or overlooked Pokemon. This thing never under <laughs> I meant to say underused. And I said over. It's, like over. it's overlooked, I guess, but the freaking Heatmore. Poor guy never gets any love. It's a super cool Pokemon though. It's unfortunately just outclassed by a lot of fire types. I mean it gets access to well like Giga Drain, which makes it kinda cool. And it just does not have the, the stats to make it useful. But it is a cool design. I love that boy. We go to 39. Hop has been defeated. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can get my if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer. Yep. Exactly. Sir, he gives us a bunch of money though, so. Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on his on the telly. <laughs> oh my god. He was like a bright star. So strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now, can tell just how strong he really is. 
that he's got, but I haven't. Man, Hop, you're kind of a Debbie Downer lately. <laughs> I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll heal up your team. Nice. So, we don't have to run all the way back to the PC. And we're looking solid here. So, I think I know what it is I really want. I totally clicked eight way too quickly. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. So, he's going to head on out. And it is time to embark on Route 7. So, what the hell is this thing? Oh, it's just a... Why is this... Why does this one look different? Okay, so this... What? This is like the Meowth thing, but this is... This is Perserker? It's level 39, sweet Jesus. This thing is powerful. We gotta get out of here. Did not expect to see that thing. That was weird. Well, we got ourselves a trainer here that's kind of just staring off into the distance. As a model, I'll show my appeal of my show the appeal of my part in Pokemon. Let's see it. So again, with the model chick, she actually is holding a Dusk Ball, which is kind of cool. She's got a Rebombi, uh, which is decent for us because we can just go for a nice little acid. Barney, we're just kind of keeping you here until you can learn something better. You're level 35, so you definitely need some love. But ooh, pollen puff, what is that? Is that a new move? I don't think I've ever seen Pollen Puff, but that's also because I never really have used the Bombi, so. Acid, not quite gonna knock you out, but almost. So, one more is gonna do the trick after you Pollen Puff me again. But Barney be eating that shit up. One thing to note about uh, Toxtricity's ability that actually makes it pretty useful we take less damage from sound based moves, which means we can take bug buzzes, like, very easily, so that's kinda cool. Hey, and we're about to learn Discharge, so thankfully we get ourselves a decent special attacking electric move. That is great for us. So we're just going to get rid of Spark, going to replace that because we're definitely a special attacker. And now we can Discharge everything, which makes us a whole lot more useful. Next is a Vespiquen. Uh, so let's stay in here. Vespiquen seems like a fitting poke. You got two Bs. You're just all about the Bs, huh? Save the Bs! Level 36 Vespiquen, you're about to take a dis Discharge. Super cool seeing this thing use Discharge, too. I dig the animation. Down goes the Queen. Quen. And you dead. Thank you for the battle, Milo. What a great trainer you are. You really showed me the appeal of your partner Pokemon. Quite appealing. It actually matches your uh, your, your jacket, kind of. Okay, this freaking... This high-ass level Machamp... Or Machamp. Why did I... <laughs> Meowth comes at me. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's guff. Our Marnie, oh my god, they're doing a Marnie chant, aren't they? Wow. So we can't go that way. And it uh, looks like we are headed this way. But we should definitely heal up, because I do want to keep using Toxicity, at least for a while. We'll get you back to full with the super. What is up? This guy's got his, uh, got his snow hat on. Pokemon battles are the same, anywhere, anywhere. This guy's singing too. What's up with all, like, the weird chanting? This guy looks... Prepared for some shit. It's a nice sunny day out here, sir. Got a Corvus Squire, so uh, this is actually good for Barney as well. Which has a good time to start training up Barney. All right, we're gonna discharge the living shit out of you. It's gonna hone claws. That's not gonna save you now. You're just up against an absolute beastly electric mon, and you're like, you know what? You know what we need to do here? Use hone claws. That seems like a great idea. So, you are dead. I really wish that opposing trainers would switch out more. Seems like that would be would be cool. Anyway, next is a Rufflet. So, perfect. Just out here testing out our Discharge. Doing some little, little R&D. Level 36 Rufflet. We do know that Bravery is in this game because we got absolutely dive-bombed by one in the wild area. But I do love Rufflet. Such a cool little Pokemon. Alright. So, that was pretty easy. Bruce. You gotta work on, uh... Gotta work on your battling skills, sir. Okay, so we have... Ooh, a wild Galvantula right here. That is super cool. There's also an Inke, which is neat. What else do... Dude, these Meowths just really... Actually, not even Meowth. Oh my god, that light part just fucking quick as hell. Could not escape from this damn thing. Wow. Well. Do not really want you, light parts. So guess what? We're running. Level 38, though. And we can't get away, of course. <laughs> now we get hit with an assurance. And rather than switching, I'm just going to click run again, which is a terrible idea. And we can't run again. Jesus. Now it's going to home claws? Uh-oh. 
I'm actually about to get smacked by this cat that I really should have been able to run from, but it was too damn quick. Please let me run. Yes. Thank God. All right, that was scary. Also, this Meowth coming at me too. Please stop it. We're gonna go ahead and shake this tree. I don't know if anything other than the little squirrels come out of this trees when when you shake too many times, but we're gonna try to get some berries. All right, Figgy and a Mago. There's five berries on the ground. We're just gonna quit and take our winnings. Nice. So not too bad. Also a Thievel right there. Trying to make sure I'm seeing all of the like. Oh my god, damn it! These things always come out of nowhere. This thing's design is actually kind of cool. I don't like what they did with like the Meowth version, but I mean the beard is kind of a little bit much. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're just gonna run from that thing. And let's continue. This is just a little pre-route to the actual route. So let's go ahead and get into it. Head through the old tunnel, and we are making progress. So here we have Route Eight. Um, this doesn't look like the best look like the best area to use an electric type. It seems like there's gonna be some some rocky ground boys around here, but we'll see. Ooh. So you get a nice little view of what this place is going to look like. We've got some crazy shit. There's a Pontiad right there, a couple of Girdards, which are disgusting, but, you know, they're there. So, Pontiad, we don't really want to battle you. So far, just Pontiad and Girdards around, it seems. Probably a lot of good items around here, too. All right, well, let's just head down. So these are the ruins. And we got ourselves... I shall now closely examinate the health... Examinate? <laughs> Examine the health of your Pokemon. Thanks. Are you like a... you like some type of scientist? Dr. Joanna. Maybe she heals us up here. She just got a Roselia. I actually don't think we've seen a Rose. No, wait. I'm sure we have seen a Roselia. Just kidding. But we do not really want to battle that with Barney. So let's go ahead and... Let's just go into Dumbo. I really like Kaparaja. I know I was pronouncing this thing's name entirely incorrectly, but it makes sense. He's really not even that copper. He has, you know, some copper highlights, but oh, he's going to leech seed me? Why would you do this? You've angered the elephant. Now you're about to get absolutely slammed on. I hate to do it to you, little Roselia. This thing would absolutely get fucking obliterated. In real life, imagine a huge-ass elephant using heavy slam on your little, your little... Little rose Pokemon. <laughs> Devastating. That's gonna kill a Roselia. What else you got for me, lady? We're at a level 38. Barney 37. So we're getting there. Next is a Hatrim. Another one of these damn things. Um, so, psychic type, right? Let's go into Tootsie. We haven't really used Corviknight a whole lot. Level 39. We're actually looking pretty good. We don't need to grind you up much. But Corviknight is just so damn cool. Look at this extravagant ass bird. So, level 36 Hatrim. We are going to. Ooh, it's got anticipation, which is interesting. So, let's just go ahead and. We can actually power trip it for super effective. But if we take a look, we're probably better off just using Drill Pack, which we're gonna do. Little Hatrim actually lives it. Now it's able to get off a side beam. We really look like we would be Dark type. But since we're steel type, we resist that. And one more drill pack's gonna do it. Sayonara, little Hatrim. Dexter's almost level 40. We are getting up there in levels. When Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down too. You know? I agree. Nothing worse than a sad Pokemon. Alright, so. Heading up this way. Got to avoid the freaking Girder. That thing is scary. Just absolute veiny buff clown just scaring the tits out of you we do have ourselves an item here it's a shiny stone peculiar stone that can make certain species of pokemon evolve shines with dazzling light so that's cool oh oh god girder oh oh gee oh oh i need an adult i got backed into a corner please don't hurt me sir <laughs> i hate this pokemon so much might be just the grossest thing ever level 40 Sweet Jesus. What are they feeding these things on this route? My god, that is that is not safe. Got three X defenses. They're like, here, you might need these against all the damn girders. And then we'll head up this ladder here. So we're making our way. Slowly but surely. Let's head over this way. There's got to be a hidden... Oh, no, just a ladder. Uh, so we'll go up this ladder. I don't know if this is going to just lead to an item or what's going on. Yep, it does. There's actually just a TM here. TM 96 for a smart strike. 
Stabs the target with a sharp horn. Attack never misses. So that's kind of cool. Oh, there's a, look at this little bug thing in the hole over here. Hold up. Look at him. Look at him walking. He's a little centipede. Actually, a massive one. There's also... What are, the, what, what, are, what are all these things? There's that, and then we got those rock boys. Such a fun time checking all this stuff out. And is that a Toga de Mario? Oh. Hey there, little buddy. Did not expect to see you here, sir. I don't know why I ran into you. Sometimes you just gotta ran, run into stuff, just in case... Oh my god, we couldn't get away. This was a, this was, this was a terrible idea. I, I could have avoided you. You little balloon boy. Oh my god, we can never get away twice. The third time, though, it's like guaranteed we'll get away. Check it out. Watch this. Oh, ouch. Just goes ahead and launches some spikes at us, and that's no fun. Please, please stop, sir. Please, please stop. Thank you. Third time, we'll be able to run. Yeah, see? I told you. What did I say? Didn't I tell you? I told you. All right. Heading up the disc ladder, and there's a little gullet right there. Nice. Gullet is a very fitting Pokemon to have around here. And then we have uh, that's just a Bulldor, actually. I thought that was uh, I thought that was something crazy, but you know, it turns out literally just a Bulldor. Did I run into it? Also, what the hell? Oh my God! Okay, Sandaconda. I did not expect this thing to pop out of here. We haven't seen one of these in the wild, but I feel like we should probably catch you. You're a ground type snake, which means we don't want any business staying in. Um, Let's go into Tootsie. So let's try to catch this thing. I've heard that these are actually pretty good. I'm excited to see. Does it evolve? I have no idea. But you got some crazy ass looking eyes. This thing has a little donut around his neck. It looks like you're... Looks like he's like, you know... Like choking himself. Okay, well, we're just gonna drill peck you. See how much that does at level 38. We could easily just toss this thing on the team. Even though it's ugly as hell gonna use sandstorm which is fine because we're steel type so we don't get hurt by that so that's that is fine by me sir and two drill packs is actually gonna put this thing into easy catching range and it's gonna glare though so okay I would probably be paralyzed too if this thing's crazy ass eyes just glared at me so drill pack doesn't quite knock it down into red but guess what we're just gonna give our give our ultra ball a try and just see how we can do here also I realize that I haven't been using the the feature where you can just like hit X or whatever to use the same item, which I'm really dumb for. We actually catch it first try, so I don't even need to do that. But I've just been going into the bag and selecting the Pokeball. I realized that. And uh, I done goof. Tootsie grows to 40. Dexter grows to 40 as well. Our first two Pokemon. Check us out. All right. So this is a Sand Sandaconda, which is a hilarious name. It's just a pure ground type. When it contracts its body, over 220 pounds of sand sprays from its nose. If it ever runs out of sand, it becomes disheartened this thing just straight up full of sand wait that's not even its eyes that's its nose its nostrils holy shit my life is a lie you can see its eyes behind the <laughs> wow well we've seen this thing before so i should have known that that wasn't its eyes uh we're gonna we're gonna name you donut because i actually kind of like this thing well <laughs> we're gonna send you to the box for now but we should probably take a look at this thing, just to see what we're working with. Let's head into the box. And, uh... Uh-oh. You guys are about... You guys are about to see... My problem. <laughs> I have entirely too many pages of Wooloos, and that's because I was doing some... Shiny hunting for those, and I didn't get it quite yet, but I have about... You know, five boxes full of them. Anyway, this is our Sandaconda. It has Shed Skin, which is actually a good ability. Headbutt, Glare, Dig, and Sandstorm. And it's a hardy nature. Very finicky. Quite an interesting Pokemon. I actually, I like you, Donuts. Maybe we'll maybe we'll end up using that thing eventually, but we can hold off for now. Dude, these little things are amazing. I want it. Also, oh, there's a hidden item right here that I definitely missed. We gotta run into this damn Pontiard, though. I kinda thought I could squeeze past you, but I, I, sh I sure can't. I do like your little helmet, though, buddy. We should be able to run from these things. Level 40 Pontiards. My god, they really... Oh, my we can't run with tox toxicity ever. Everything on my team is so freaking slow. We're just gonna try to run one more time, and if we, yep, we, okay. We need something fast. That would be that would be kind of nice. I mean, I guess we could just put Dexter in front. But let's put Jading there. Better be a good item. 
I struggled for this. It's an elixir. Which actually is not bad. We need to get... Oh, Soul Rock. Nice. That's kind of cool. Soul Rock just comes out of nowhere. We are going to hop over yonder and grab three Luxury Balls, which is kind of cool. And we're going to see what else is in the wild here. And... Oh, just a Rhyhorn. Okay, every time I see a silhouette of something I'm not sure of, I'm like, what could this possibly be? Level 30... 30... 40... Rhyhorn. 30... 30... 40... We finally get to see what the hell's up with this thing. I, uh... I kind of love him. What is up? We're just gonna step on you, And... Ooh! Phalanx! <laughs> These things just, like, link together. Which is freaking sweet. I, so I'm assuming you're a bug type. I, I don't know. Let's go for a first impression. Mostly just because we haven't used that. Ooh, used Endure. It actually would have been perfect had we gone for something that would have knocked you, knocked you out. But... We're just going to first impression, which does nothing. But it's fine. We, we needed to see. Well, it's Rock Smash, which also, also is probably resistant. It has a reversal. Are you a bug fighting type? This actually might be kind of cool. Makes you hella weak to flying, though. Uh, but we're going to Rock Smash it one more time. We're going to get a critical hit. And knock it right to 1 HP since it used Endure. Check it out. Okay, or not. We do get ourselves a defense drop, but we're just going to huck an Ultra Ball at this thing. Let's look at us catching all sorts of new crazy shit. I wonder if this thing evolves. It doesn't... I don't think it does, but... Probably does. He's going to break out, you little bastard. More reversals. I really wish I could time it with you using... Um, Endure, but we're just going to hit X... Use another Ultra Ball. See, I remembered. I remembered the new feature. Look at me. Damn it. Oh, it did use Endure. Well, uh, we can Rock Smash it one more time. Let's do that. Phalanx, no retreat. Whoa! This thing's got a crazy ass signature move. What the hell? It's gonna raise its attack and defense, and special attack, and special defense, and speed. Can no longer escape. Yo, that's actually kind of cool. That, that's an interesting new move. Nice, we get it right down into red. Thank you for not getting a critical hit there, Chiding. We, we appreciate your efforts, sir. So, this is going to be the one that catches it, please. Damn it! Why? These reversals are starting to freaking hurt, especially since you got an attack boost. It is going to ch kill Chiding. But we must catch this thing. We've invested too much time. Let's go into... Um, was going to Dexter. This thing's gonna freaking. He's gonna do some damage to anything. But let's see. Come on, Ultra Ball. What am I paying you for here? Yes. Damn it. Why? So this thing also has first impression. You unfortunately cannot use that little guy because it's not the first turn of the battle. But he doesn't know any better. He's just, he's a wild bug. Probably not even a bug type. It looks like it would be. It, it guarantee it's probably not, actually. Oh, wait, no. Because it resisted fighting, right? Or was it neutral? We're just going to keep freaking hucking ultras until we can get you, though. Yes. That is what we like to see. Finally, we got ourselves a phalanx. So let's see what you're all about. Chiding almost... Oh no, he's dead as hell, so he didn't get any experience. Damn it, buddy. Alright. So it's just a pure fighting type. Five of them are troopers, and one is the brass. The brass's orders are absolute. So. Interesting little marching boys. I don't know what to name Phalanx. We're not going to give you a nickname for now. We're going to send you to the box. Maybe we end up using you later. But let's check out this thing's ability. I'm intrigued. A little phalanx. At yeah, level 40, we could easily just use you, but we already have a fighting type with Surfetch. It has battle armor protected from crits. So that's nice to know. I was asking for crits with Farfetch'd, but alright. Little phalanx boy. We do need to revive here, though. Because that thing did some damage. So let's actually just use a max revive, because... We can. Hell yeah. Alright, continuing on. There, ooh, there's a little rufflet over here, so that's kind of cool. Also, another item. Got ourselves a max revive. Oh, the rufflet's coming for me. Oh, Jesus. 
Also, there's a trainer there. Well, roughly, stop it. Oh, oh god. Oh Jesus. I panicked. There's too much. <laughs> there was too much going on. There was no room for escape. So we are now in against this girder, but we're gonna run from you. This thing is too damn scary. And then fuck. I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze past this one. We couldn't. So oh, damn it. I hate your little. I hate your little round nose. Get, just get get out of here. It's unfair that you use a damn steel beam or a girder to battle. That's just. What if I just gave my Pokemon a gun, huh? How about that? All right, let's battle this guy, and then we should probably head back and battle that other lady. My live concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. Oh, really? This guy's just gonna force me into a concert? Okay, musician Charles about to hit me with his mixtape. He's got a Toga de Mario. Oh, so this is good for us. Chidink can just rock smash the shit out of this thing. Pretend you're a little rock. Just gonna zing zap. Is this like the only thing that ever uses zing zap? Ah, oh, we flinched, but we get that fast. That's cool. Steadfast actually doing something. I feel like this is the only Pokemon I ever see using Zing Zap. Look, he's back. This guy's back there rapping, too. That's hilarious. Doesn't quite knock it out. And we get hurt by some iron bars, which is on Fort. Now we get zapped again. Luckily, we cannot flinch, but we get critted. Jeez. Why? Why must you do this to me? One more rock smash. Oh, that was actually a bad idea because the iron barbs are going to kill me. Damn it. Please. I shouldn't have touched it. Should not, should not have touched it. Now we don't get any experience with freaking Farfetch'd. That was, that was a bad, that was a bad call. That's what I get for just mashing A over here. Well, <laughs> Nugget grows to level 40, and that's all you got for me, sir. Guess the rhythm between me and my partner was off. I just wasted that max revive I used. It's a damn bummer. I do have regular revives still, right? I have one max revive. I have a bunch of reggies too. We're just gonna go ahead and give one to ya. And also a super potion. Let's get one to Barney too. You know what? There you go. Get you up a decent amount. So okay, we can head down that way. Hey, there's the crust a crustal right there. Big old lasagna crab. God damn it, I ran way too quickly. I need to learn how to not go into things so hastily. Get your veiny ass clown out of my face. Or so help me. What are these things building over here? It could at least be useful and be like building a structure with all their all their freaking girders. All right, what's up, lady? You can compare life to a journey, but the end of your life isn't the same as the journey's goal. These hippie people get way too, way too crazy on you. Backpacker Barbara here. What do you got? Ooh, a Dreepy. We have not seen one of these. Look at this little guy. I love him. So this thing is a dragon type. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, not quite sure what to do against you though. What type would this thing be? I think it evolves into a ghost dragon type. Let's go for a knockoff here, which I kind of forgot we even had. It's going to astonish me. Please don't flinch. No, okay. So the knockoff is super effective. Yeah, it's so dreepy. It's a creepy dragon. Doesn't quite look like a dragon yet, but that thing has a crazy ass evolution, and I would love to get myself one of them dreepies. I think they're actually pretty rare, though. This might be the route where we get them. Next is a Volibi. Uh, so we do want to switch out on a Volibi. Let's go into Barney for that. If I could get a dreepy here, I would be so happy. This looks like a super cool mod. I have seen the evolution for it, because I've been doing some competitive stuff. But here we have a Volibi, level 37. And, uh, we're just going to discharge you. Another ugly-ass Pokemon. <laughs> but it's a cool idea. Mandibuzz is way. It's actually a pretty neat design, though. Barney goes to 38. Backpacker Barbara, you got a pretty interesting team there. Give me your Dreepy. Should have played for pinks. Could have taken your Dreepy. Alright, let's head up this way. Where there is actually just a hidden item, so it's a big nugget, which is worth worth battling that lady for a big nug. We can go ahead and sell that for a bunch of money, which is cool. And d d why can't I slide through there, Slow Rock? What the hell? Why are you blocking me out, boy? Well, level 39. We are just gonna run from you. It could not get away. Now it's gonna cosmic power, which actually has a cool looking animation here. But guess what? I don't want any. Please, let me get out of here. Thank you. Okay. I'm like worse in this game than I am with the speed up button when I'm playing it on emulators. <laughs> I just run too recklessly. Alright. Oh god, this guy's chasing me down. 
We do have an item over here. It's a King's Rock. So uh, that's kind of cool. I like the I like the music in this too. This guy's gonna go. They just switching between holes. I like it. All right. So then up one more, and I think that's the end of this route. Sure is. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, we got them reporter people. So we got ourselves a double battle. We could go with. Uh, let's do Dumbo and Shading. How about that? What is up? Wait, no, you're not the reporter people. Just kidding. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. Uh, so these people are just business people, just chilling in the desert. Nice. Colleagues. <laughs> They're colleagues. All right. Got a Hippowdon and an Excadrill. Sweet Jesus. That is a scary team. All right, well. Um. I would like to use Bulldoze. I don't want to hit... Don't want to hit my own Farfetch though, so we're actually, no, we're actually, we're, we're perfect here. We're going to Rock Smash on the Excadrill. Nice little super effective hit there. And then we can use Heavy Slam on the Hippowdon as well. So they do get that Sandstorm up. The Excadrill is going to use Dig, which is annoying. If we used Earthquake, we would have got double damage, but we don't got no Earthquake. So that means Rock Smash is going to miss. And uh, Sand Tomb. Uh-oh. If that thing digs on Cop Raja, we're going to have a bad time. What did I just say about quicksand? I get stuck in quicksand? Oh man, I'm confused. Hold up. Um, I need to switch out Chiding. Actually, I guess I could just leave Chiding in here. Let's go for a rock smash on the Excadrill slot, and let's try to switch out Dumbo. I think it said something about, about us being stuck in quicksand, but why would I? Can't be switched out? Yep, I'm stuck. Interesting. Well, let's just heavy slam the hip-out on it again. I'm sure we're going to die to this dig. Nope, it's going to attack Chiding, actually, so that's fine. We do get a nice little rock smash on the Excadrill crit, please. Nope, no crit. Doesn't quite kill it. Now it's going to sand tomb. This time it's going to hit uh, Chiding. Is this, is this the quicksand? Yeah, trapped by quicksand. So sand tomb, they say quicksand now? They never said that before. I mean, you were always st stuck with sand tomb, actually, right? But ouch, we out here hurting, getting hit by the sandstorm, getting hit by the sand tomb. These guys are freaking good. These business people really know what they're doing. Sweet Jesus, we need to heal here. We are going to give Chiding a, let's actually use a hyper on you. How about that? You've earned it, Chiding. <clears throat> we should also use one on Dumbo, but honestly, we're just maybe going to let it die. If, it, if need be, that's how it's going to have to go. So we're going to hyper the Farfetch'd. If we could just get Inteleon out here, we'd... Uh, have an easier time. I should have just switched, to be honest. Excadrill's gonna freaking dig again like a dickhead. Why must you do this? And then another sandstorm. Or, sand tomb, rather. Another heavy slam. This, this Hippowdon is way too damn defensive. Doesn't quite knock it out, which is extremely annoying. We even get a crit, too. Was there something better I could have been using against this? I don't, I don't think so. Alright, Shading hurt by the sand tomb. Freaking... Dumbo, also hurt by the Sand Tomb. Excadrill, probably going to attack Kaparaja, but, I mean, they also have two Pokemon each, so sweet Jesus. This is not good. I'm just going to heavy slam the out on one more time. Finally, the Excadrill digs. It does do it on Jading, actually, so Kaparaja stays alive to see another day. And freaking finally, the Excadrill goes down. So thank God these people were only level 36. This could have been bad. Uh, the Sandstorm paired with the Excadrill. Some high IQ plays. Dumbo goes to 39. Now the Hippo's going to crunch. Um, so, I thought maybe we had a chance of living that. But no. I don't know why we would actually. Just kidding. I was like in red. Shading hurting by the storm. And finally, though, we can get in Dexter. And now it's over for you, hoes. This a pout on. Ooh, a Lucario, too? Bruh. Interesting teams you got here. All right, we're going to heal again on Shading. Using a lot of damn potions. I need. I apparently need to grind up a little bit. This is this is not good. We're going to water pledge the hippo just to finally get rid of this damn thing. And hopefully... I don't know what this Lucario is going to do. But I think I have seen a Ryolu in... 
uh, the wild area. But other than that, we haven't seen a Lucario, so... Cool to see my man's Lucario. He also Naruto runs around, if you've ever seen him in the wild area. I've seen videos of it. He's got a Metal Claw, which doesn't do too much to ding The Sandstorm finally freaking goes away, which is great. All it does is just lower our frames per second. Now you got a... One of, one of these damn Meowths. Uh, evolved Meowth, actually. So, let's go ahead and we're gonna rock some Mark Rock Smash on the Lucario slot. And then we can likely kill this thing with the Water Pledge. But it uses Fake Out, you bastard. Gets us uh, our speed boost, but... Did it not sh say I flinched? Why, did it not Why didn't it say I flinched? You're gonna go down. No, it'll say, actually, I, I've done this next. Once I, once I move, I guess, I'll flinch from the... Yeah, we flinched from the freaking... That goddamn... Fake Out, but it's fine. Now it's just us against this Lucario, and my god, this was not expecting such an interesting battle here, but... Actually, a really cool area. I like that. I like that these people got some crazy stuff. Doesn't quite knock it out, but this Rock Smash will. And you dead. So, man, you business people really. Really know what y'all are doing these days, huh? So, tons of experience. Chiding, level 40. Wants to learn Brick Break, which is a nice fighting move. 75 power, whereas Rock Smash is 40. Thank God. Finally, have a better fighting move. And Sir Fetched is here to stay. Your Pokemon are strong and cute. <laughs> they sure are. I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. What? <laughs> okay, well. We have a Pokemon camp over here. What's going on? You found Lisa's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? I sure would. Let's check out what she's got. Do we get to see her Pokemon? We do. Ooh. We got all the evolutions. Yo, Sir Fetched, why are you the only one out here? Yo, this is awesome. She's got, uh, got all these boys. Let's go ahead and whistle at you. This lady is stoked. We have to, also, there's this trainer right here. What are you doing? You spying, lady? All right, we're gonna leave. I just kind of wanted to see what she had, but interesting. And now there's nobody there. Who was that? Who was the mystery lady? We find ourselves a terrain extender item uh, to be held by a Pokemon. Extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move. Or ability. Interesting item. Okay. We will take it. Alright, so. I guess that's all for us on this route. So it is time to head on in. And we've arrived in a new city, I think. Maybe not, actually. Hold up. Nope, now we're in Steam Drift Way. So now it's cold as hell. We were literally just in a desert. Now it's freaking snowy. And there's Sneasels coming right at me. Jeez, oh god, he's following me far. My god, now he just... Just disappeared, too. Well... We need to do some healing. I assumed there were gonna there was gonna be someone that would actually I guess we could heal at a Pokemon camp. We could we could make another curry. I haven't done that in a while. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go into camp. Maybe if I did it at Lisa's actually would be, would have been a better idea. You know what? We're doing our own camp though. We like snowy camping. So let's head into the menu. We can go into cooking. Let's start cooking. So I have some new ingredients here we haven't used before. We have Pungent root, sausages, and spice mix. So, you know what? Let's use one of each. Oh, wait. Just kidding. We can only use one of those? Damn it. Well, that's fine. Now we'll use an orange berry. One of those. A little petcha berry just for an extra spice. We'll do a mago berry. I don't know. I'm basically just clicking random berries. But I think I feel like the more we use, the better it's going to turn out, right? I want to keep at least one of each just in case. And let's see. We'll go for a figgy as well. All right. I think we're ready. Let's see what this does. I have no idea. We're going to start cooking. And to cook, we basically just... We just... Spin the... The stick. I think we've only cooked once so far. Or maybe twice. Anyway. Uh, we're actually just supposed to mash A for, to fan the flames. So, we'll go ahead and get a fire going. Because it's cold as shit out here. I'm mashing as fast as I can. But there's only so fast... You can freaking flap. The flames are there. We should we should be good. How much more do I need to do? What the hell? Okay, so now we do the spinning. We're just gonna absolutely mix the tits out of this thing. It actually looks like a nice little curry in there. Check that out. I hope my Pokemon like it. I slaved over this dish. How much stirring we need? Man, if only cooking was this easy. It's just like, hey, I just click A to put your heart into it. Now you got a delicious meal for the whole family. By family, I mean Pokemon. So, 
The deed has been done. Let's see what grade we got on it. Sweet herb medley curry. The moment of truth. Sir Fetch is like, this shit better be good. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. We, we eating the hell out of that. Nice. Kaparaja class. Which I think is good. Sweet herb medley curry. I mean, we got a silver medal. Pokemon's HP and PP were restored. Any status conditions were healed. Pokemon gained a lot of experience points. Jading and the rest of your party got quite friendly toward you. So, I think we did good. We're going to quit camping now. And I guess we'll be able to see what happens. So, got some experience as well. Nice. Tootsie grows to 41. Well, not sure if that was really worth it. Actually, no. It was. Everybody's freaking healed. Look at that. My curry saves lives out here. So, let's head this way and see... Looks like it's actually a pretty short route. Maybe I didn't even need to do that. I, I was expecting... Damn, I was expecting a lot more. What is this thing? Hold up. What are you, little fella? It's a snome. Snom. Oh my god. I kind of love it. Level 39, a new ice type. Nice. We don't want to brick break it, but we'll go for a first impression. We gotta catch you, little fella. Oh. Farfetched. What what are you doing, buddy? We did not mean to do that. Well, we need to find another snob. <laughs> I need him. It's like a little snow grubbin. What the hell is this? Is that another one? It is. Alright. Little snow larvae. Hmm. So Let's uh, let's try this again. Let's go for another first impression. That shouldn't have killed. If we don't get a crit, we'll be all right. Damn it! It 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 does kill. Th this thing is weak as hell. Okay, it, that was my bad. Entirely my fault. Maybe we use knockoff instead. It's also snow runs. Where are all the snows? I need more. I need another one. Here we got one. Okay. Third try is a charm. I could probably just huck Ultra Balls at this thing, but we're going to proceed to just go for a knockoff. Since you don't have, an, don't have an item. Yes, not perfectly. Yes. <laughs> I was surprised that lived. Nice. Okay. So we get hurt by the hail. Luckily, this little guy doesn't because he's ice type. Are you ice bug? I don't think we have any ice bugs yet, do we? I always be forgetting about random shit, to be honest. Let's just go for an Ultra Ball. Give it our best shot. Little baby snum, please let me have you. Yes. Yes. We got it. So, another new Pokemon. Let's see what your dex entry says. So, it is an Ice Bug. Spits out thread imbued with a frigid sort of energy and uses it to tie its body to branches disguising itself as an icicle while it sleeps so we'll give you a nickname and for some reason i want to name you nelson <laughs> i don't know why but you just look like a nelson to me so there you go our new friend nelson i uh, will send you to the box for now but we got options boys all sorts of them. Just avoiding all these sneezles. We'll battle this comp. Gym challenger, if it's all right, I'll be your training training partner. For a second, I thought he said trading partner. I was like, we about to trade, sir? Officer Bobby. Got an RK9. Okay. So this guy's... This guy must be a legit cop if they gave him a freaking RK9. All right, so... He does have Intimidate. That is quite annoying for us. We're going to switch the hell out of, out of here. It's level 37. We'll just go into Dexter. I'll give you a nice little old-fashioned water pledge to see how you like that. Fire Fang, not bad, not bad. I hate, I love how smug Dexter looks. I was gonna say I, I hate how skinny we are, but at least we're kind of cool. We look just super female, so it's kind of weird that we're a male. But now it's gonna extreme speed because it knows it's about to die. So trying to get a little bit of damage before it goes out. That's fine by me. You dead. See you later, K9. Get hurt by the hail. What's next? What you got for me? Did not see. D definitely did not even see. Well, we're staying in. That's, this is why I shouldn't mash. 
It's a bolt on, so, yep, I should have switched. Damn it, why am I like this? The world may never know. Let's go into, let's go into Dumbo, because we're only level 39. And we can destroy you with a bulldoze. I really should have just switched out there. This guy's got the best doggos. Two amazing doggo Pokemon. Gonna nuzzle me, which is unfortunate because we get paralyzed, but a bulldoze should do the trick. Come on, Dumbo. You can do it, buddy. Just don't get fully parried here. You got this. Yeah, how did we go first? It must be using Roar. Oh, that is gonna kill the Boltund. And I will see you later, little Bolt Boy. Dexter 42, Nugget 41, Barney 39. Nice. Police officer has been defeated. My police, or my, my Pokemon did their best, but they couldn't compete. Good luck in the future. Thanks, buddy. He's laughing, too. He's like, you know what? That, that loss was hilarious. Well, we're just going to head on up this way, and we have arrived in the new city. And this place looks awesome. I like it. Pretty Christmassy looking town. There is the gym. Not bad. So, what is this thing? Oh my god, it's a, it's a Darumaka. This is a hint to the freaking Galarian Darmanitan. There's also snowmen around. Yo, this is a super cool city. Anyways, guys, we are going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to check out this new city. And uh, probably take on the gym. So, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed it as always. I appreciate all the support on the series. And I'll see you guys next time.